Hi, and welcome to the Sacramento Bee's Nightly Buzz. I'm Melissa Hoddenfield. Here's your recap of today's top stories. Northern California residents should brace for what could be the strongest winds of the year. The National Weather Service expects extreme winds across most of Northern California over the weekend. The agency says it could be the biggest windstorm in years. Because of the winds, PG&E announced Friday it would probably cut power to 850,000 customers, making it the largest blackout so far. Gusts could reach 60 miles per hour in some parts of the Valley and Delta areas, and Sacramento and the Bay Area could each see gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Was a faulty transmission tower to blame for the Kincaid fire burning in Sonoma County? That's what investigators will look into after PG&E said that a tower near where the fire started was malfunctioning. While the utility de-energized power lines in the area, that particular tower still had electricity because it was a high-voltage line. Cal Fire has not said what sparked the fire. By Friday morning, the Kincaid fire had burned 21,000 acres and destroyed more than 40 buildings. Three suspects in the shooting death of El Dorado County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Ishmael are facing state and federal charges. The alleged gunman is charged with murder and assault with a deadly weapon. His alleged accomplice is charged with being an accessory. A third man who called 911 to report thieves were stealing his marijuana plants faces murder and manslaughter charges. All three entered not guilty pleas in El Dorado Superior Court and are scheduled to return to court in December. And here's tonight's stinger. Tonight is the home opener for the Sacramento Kings. The team's season opener was in Phoenix on Wednesday, and it turned out to be a disappointment for Kings fans. Beyond the final score, which was 124 to 95, Marvin Bagley broke his thumb, and he'll be out for four to six weeks. But tonight, the team is taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Our sports reporter, Jason Anderson, says taking care of the ball and better defense are the keys to winning the game tonight. That's your nightly buzz. Check sackbee.com for more information.